you're looking for Zash. Well, she's not here. Allow me to introduce myself. Darth Thanaton. Don't worry. I haven't done anything to your master. I'm far too interested in how this game she's playing will turn out. I've waited a long time to meet you. An alien in the Sith ranks is an extremely rare thing. Is there a problem with where I came from? Others have risen from slavery to do great things. I'm not concerned with your origins. The trials on Korriban are an honored tradition designed to sift out the unworthy. I trust they've served their purpose. I want to speak to you about your master. You don't like her very much, do you? Darth Zash is arrogant and reckless. The reckless have a way of defeating themselves in the end. When she finally self-destructs, be careful not to get caught in the blast. A young Sith should not associate himself too closely with a master like Zash. A young Sith can't get very far without a powerful master. You must seek your own way. Carve out your own victories. The culty one on Nar Shaddaa was a good first step, but it's not enough. A Sith cannot live without a power base. Good luck. My child, your power has grown since we last met. Your strength will rise and shake the Sith. I feel it. Now, I have another gift for you. One that was dearer to me than even my life. My own lightsaber, until now, lost to me. But through your great power in the Force, I have found it. You must claim it. So where do I find this lightsaber? I entrusted it to my faithful retainer, Jonas Escalus, the only servant who didn't betray me when Tulak Horde moved against me. He swore he and his heirs would keep it safe until the time that my heir would return to claim it. His heir is on Nar Shaddaa, working in one of the casinos there. Her name is Mila Escalus. Go to her, and claim your inheritance. Vehicle pads are currently open for business.
zai galut saira iswis us uf andan ja atnam in puidangarja your mila escala sent you i believe you have a lightsaber that belongs to me i knew this would happen i warned him but he wouldn't listen please don't kill me i'll get the lightsaber back i promise you don't have the lightsaber it's not my fault it's my father's dad was never very smart but a couple of years ago he topped himself put everything we had lightsaber included on the sabak table against a sleaze bag named gil rosen a known cheater lost it all just be happy you're dealing with me and not my ancestor himself i warned him but mill he says you got to stop believing in myths now he's dead and i'm paying off his debts all of them i get the lightsaber back but rosen has it and he's holed up in the industrial area it's too dangerous and i i can't exactly afford help your cowardice sickens me Look, you want to go? Fine. But I'd get killed. Rosen will have guards everywhere. Oh, and please don't kill me. Only an Escalus can open the lightsaber case. It's some kind of genetic lock. So if you get it, bring it here. Select an available travel route. Have a safe and pleasant stay. shouldn't have come here, Seth. I've got eyes and ears all over this city. I heard all about your little talk with the Aeschylus whelp. Lucky for you, I'm feeling generous, so I'm willing to make a deal. You are in no place to bargain. Look, I'm standing here with Narshada's toughest mercenaries. 
Guys that make the Sith look like school teachers. So, what I'm thinking is, you're gonna listen to me. That's what I'm thinking. Here's what I propose. I give you the lightsaber, and you come work for me as my own personal Sith. That, or you pay me three million credits. I don't think so. All right, then. You made your choice. Boys, kill the Sith. Uh, sir, you, you do realize... No complaints. I don't pay you to complain. Kill him. Kill him. What are you doing? Sorry, boss. You, you can't pay me enough to fight no Sith. I'll make it quick. I promise. No way. I got no plans for dying anytime soon. Boys, let's get out of here while we still have our hides, huh? Wait. This isn't what I pay you for. You fools, you'll never work on Nar Shaddaa again. I'm sick of your voice. <laughs> Look, I'll make you another deal, okay? I'll give you the lightsaber. You let me live. It's not like you could open the case anyway. I'd rather kill you. pads are currently open for business. Hey, look, lay off the lightning this time, okay? Just open this case for me. Yeah, gladly. There. There's your lightsaber. Now go, please. Here's something to remember me by. Apprentice, you have all the artifacts. Excellent. Meet me on Drummond Cass immediately. I'm sorry I don't have more time to talk. There is much work to do to prepare the ritual. Look at her. No time to talk. Too busy plotting your demise, cruel witch. You have done well, flesh of my flesh, in seeking out your inheritance. But 
Things are more dire than I suspected. I have discovered the nature of Darth Zash's strange rituals. There is no doubt that she intends to cause you harm. I knew it was too good to last. Yes. Her words smell of honey and taste of poison. Zash praises your great strength, yet she fears it. The rituals she performs are to protect her against the Force. Ask yourself, why go to such lengths to defend herself against the Force if she has no intention of fighting you? So, what now? Do not let Zash move first. Arm yourself with anger. Steal yourself with hate. Crush her before she has a chance to strike. And if at all possible, do not face her alone. But bring an ally who can break through her defenses. Zash won't know what hit her. Good. I can be no further help to you. I am too weak to face Zash. It depends on you. Just remember, whatever you do, do not enter the Dark Temple alone. Zash is prepared. You've arrived on Draman Kars. Marvelous. Let's get right to work. Secrecy is vital, so I've secured us a nice, out-of-the-way spot for the ritual. Meet me in the innermost chamber of the Dark Temple, where you pacify the apparition, and we can begin. It's time you told me what this ritual entails. I will, Apprentice. But not here, not now. Come to the Dark Temple, and I will share all in private. But there is one thing. Given the sensitive nature of this ritual, I would ask that you not bring your pirate companion. Your Deshard is fine, desirable even, given the sensitive nature of your bond to him. As long as I can bring my lightsaber. I don't see why not, though I can't imagine you'll have to use it. Now hurry and meet me in the Dark Temple. The sooner you arrive, the sooner we can begin. Tais Anaman Fajas.
lost. Such marvelous power radiates from you now. Clear, strong, you have truly come into your own. You possess great power, certainly, but the teachings of Korovan seem to have had scant influence on you. How many times did you have the option to expand your power and yet stayed your hand? Do you really know what it means to be Sith? Like the Sith Code says, my chains are broken. I can choose my own path. Indeed it does. But what worth is that freedom if you don't use it? I've arranged for you to receive the title of Lord of the Sith. I hope you realize what an honor and responsibility it is. As a Darth, I answer only to Darth Anaton, who answers to the Dark Council. As a Lord, you're only one step below that, and you tower above many. It's about time greatness got its due. Do not get ahead of yourself, Apprentice. There is still the ritual to undergo. And I'll warn you, the ritual may prove a trying experience. But once it's done, you will be truly great. Truly powerful. You still haven't told me what the ritual does. All in good time, Apprentice. First, there is something more pressing. The truth is, I have not been completely honest with you. I wish I could have been, but the timing was not right. Look at me, Apprentice. I am sorry to have concealed it from you for so long, but it was such a pleasant vanity to share in your youth. You make Rodians look kissable. Listen, Apprentice. Various force rituals have helped me maintain my appearance and some of my vitality. But inevitably, life fades. I'm dying, Apprentice. My will, my intellect, my spirit are as lively as ever. But this body is dying. Too bad you can't just order a new one. But Apprentice, 
That's exactly what I've done. Be prepared. As the ritual ends, you will likely see me collapse before you feel it taking effect. Do not panic. Know that this is what I have trained you for, primed you for, from the start. This doesn't sound promising. Don't worry. I imagine it will be just like falling asleep. Ah. We will accomplish so much once I am in command of that wonderful vessel of yours. Just hold still. You can't stop this ritual from happening. Apprentice! What have you done to me? Why couldn't you just hold still for a few moments longer? Why couldn't you pull the monster off? I need to learn that ritual. That monster broke through my defenses, interrupted my concentration, and diverted the entire ritual. Five years of preparation, finding the right person, training them, researching the artifacts, gathering them, wasted! You were my legacy, my one chance to defeat death! You fool! You have ruined everything! At least you're not dead. No, that's true. And this beast's body makes me quite powerful indeed. Powerful enough to punish you for your rebellion. The Deshard is bound to me, and now so are you. That bond! That damn bond! How can your will be stronger than my own? I am the master, not you! Change is hard, but you'll learn to deal with it. Pataya gila senaim, anabidupi pi pukdu gas fantan. Swaiwai silbans in iswish, paman ik alkas jam, guidis in tis iswares. I'm just as befuddled as you, whoever you are. Was jabe wise jabe, prophetis. We sons jagara hai tang. Unswekun pose warp, warp by nupai insats jains ones jan. Mat insop ja, himan kudana, ja ayun pro kumana. Oh dear, what am I into this time? Think about it, flesh of my flesh. Zash claimed to have wanted to steal your body for herself, and just now she spoke to you from the Deshard. Munzgasai. Protest all you like, Kem Vol, servant of Tulak Horde, but your ancient master's artifact has been turned against you. And through some strange and miraculous trick, neither you nor Zash have full control. That sounds pretty complicated and unlikely. The Dashard was not part of Zash's plan. Perhaps his innate resistance to the Force impacted things. Flesh of my flesh, you have defeated your master. The great danger that I feared is past. Your rise to glory complete. I don't know whether we will chance to meet again on this side of death, but I am at peace. I came to say goodbye, and good luck. I'll see you around then. You are Lord Carrick now. It was once a glorious name. Use it well. I'm telling you, Corrin, Zash is not all there. All this talk about dreams, it's nonsense. No, Carl. I saw Zash enter, and we both saw her first apprentice go in later. If I went around expecting everything I dreamt to come true, I... Look, Carl.
off Zash. You... you murdered her! I'll finish you off just as easily. Hold your weapon, Carl. This is not what Zash wanted. My lord, we have not met, but Carl and I are Zash's newest apprentices. She honored us by telling us about a prophecy, a dream she had, one that has now been fulfilled by you. Oh, I know all about her dreams. Darth Zash dreamt that her strongest apprentice would eventually rise to destroy her, but she also foresaw that the same apprentice would rise to bring new glory and strength to a fragmented Sith Order. She went knowingly to her death at your hand, so that you could lead the Sith to glory. Believe me, Zash only thought of herself. How strange. Darth Zash only ever had words of praise for you. We have been anticipating this day since Zash first leaked the rumors of your incredible triumph over Darth Scotia. Zash answered to Darth Thanaton on the Dark Council. He'll want to speak to you, but we are your servants. Kem, will you do the honors? Afgudan heifst. The dark side swells within you. I sense you will go far. Darth Thanaton, I believe we spoke once before. I hope you've settled into your new role. Your brief career has been of great interest to me. And with Darth Zash dead, I think it's time we finally met. If you will be taking up Zash's work, we have much to discuss. Meet me at the tomb of Darth Andrew, outside Kar City. This doesn't sound promising. Forgive me. I lack Zash's natural charm. Trust me when I say, I look forward to meeting you. Something about that Thanaton guy rubs me wrong. Your pirate friend has good instincts. Thanaton had me confined to Bromon Cast when we killed Scotia. And he'd have done worse if he had proof. He's not to be trifled with. Be careful.
Thank you for meeting me here. Respect for his superiors is the mark of a good Sith. Of course, Zash would have disagreed, did disagree with me passionately on that point. But then, Zash never respected tradition. It's wise to respect your superiors. At least until you're powerful enough to kill them. Wise answer. You are not like your master. Tradition. Principles. History. The threads that compose our society. Zash refused to acknowledge how one little tug could ruin the whole tapestry. Your work was sloppy, brazen even, but the news of her murder was sweet. I did my best to clean up the bloodstains. I speak in all seriousness. Too many people saw you enter the Dark Temple. I trust you'll be more careful in the future. Nevertheless, we're here to talk about you, not Zash. You have demonstrated remarkable ability. Though I am a stricter master than Zash, I think you'll find that to loyal followers of our traditions, I am not ungenerous. I know the Sith Code. Is there something else I'm supposed to know? The Sith Code is only the start. You must study the history of the Sith. Make it your own. Now, I wish to see how you work. This tomb belonged to Darth Andrew, Sith scholar and alchemist. I'm interested in his last writings, which were buried with him. Recover them for me, and we will discuss your place in my power structure. Avgudan <laughs> Eifst. Toothed vipers always slithering, slithering up the walls, along the floors. Trespasser, trespasser. You'll not have it. It's mine. It's the last place in the galaxy that's mine. I just want the writings. Never satisfied are you, my apprentice. The poison's still fresh in my body. You defile my tomb. You and your sister both. The venom may have burned away my sight, but I know you. Don't make my mistake. Strangle your children at birth. I'm sorry your offspring murdered you, but strangling all children may not be the solution. Solution? Death is the only solution for vipers like you. into the 
still inhabited tomb of a Sith Lord, unprepared. Look around, see the bones, the tattered roads. This is where Thanaton leads those he despises to death. You follow him blindly when you should plan to defeat him. Did you have a scheme in mind? Listen, flesh of my flesh. I have felt something in you since the day we met. You have a rare pull among ghosts. It's a source of great power, but it has destroyed many a Sith. It's your only chance against Thanaton. What do you mean I have a pull on the dead? They sense you from far away as I do. And you rouse strong emotions in them, as with this ghost. In my time, there were mystical movements among the Sith that sought to communicate with ghosts and harness their power. A Sith named Urgast was said to devour ghosts the way your Dashar devours Force users. His knowledge was buried with him near the Dark Temple. Seek this knowledge. I hope this knowledge does what you say. Good luck, flesh of my flesh. Don't make me remind you again that you are the last hope of our lineage. You must augment your power before you face Thanaton. I will not have the strength to defend you again.
Lord Seeker. I am the servant of Urgust, Lord of the Sith, keeper of his knowledge. Who stands before me, and what do you wish to learn? Wise keeper of secrets, I seek the ritual that can help me get past an angry ghost. There is no defense against death. But ghosts may be bound and their strength borrowed for a time. You must pull on the tether that connects life and death. You must learn to bind both sides of the Force, life and death, in what is known as the Force Walk. I will do my best, if you will teach me. No to the bones that lay around you. Not everyone is able to master the ritual of Force Walking. But if you are willing, drink from the cup before me. It is poison, but it will not kill you. Have you drunk? Good. The poison will take effect quickly. Then you may learn the ritual of the Force Walk. you are unconscious, we may begin. The ritual has two parts. First is the pacification. An angry ghost cannot be tethered. The second part is the binding. A willing ghost is easier to bind, but by leaving the ghost its will, you draw less of its power. A pact may be formed to bind the ghost willingly seals with blood, or the ritual of binding may be performed. Good. You're a quick learner. It's been a long time since a creature of such promise has entered my tomb. There has to be more to this than a little dreaming. A very quick learner indeed. You might just make it out of here alive. This is the test. Bind me, and you go free. I'll walk with you a time and see the Empire once more. Fail, and I kill you. And don't bother trying to make a deal with me. I'll not go willingly. You have passed the final test. I am now your slave, and my power is yours. I am bound to your life, and you to my death. Use my strength to shield yourself against your foes.
your slithering. Venom-toothed viper. The only cure for madness is madness. What's happened? What did you do to me? You're not my son. Bring me that treacherous scoundrel so I can cut him open. What does it look like I'm doing? Yes, I recognize it now. The ritual of force walking. I'd heard of it, but I didn't believe it existed. Do you really think you can handle my power? It doesn't matter. You won't have me. This is my last stronghold, and I won't be your slave. I think you misheard. I wasn't asking. You treacherous! This ghost and of the other, you may shield yourself against Phanaton's wrath. Take this one's writings and show Phanaton what a good apprentice you've been. I got what you wanted. Hmm. You've put me in a difficult position. When Zash disobeyed me and had Scotia killed, tradition demanded that she be killed and her power base destroyed. Believe me when I say I wish that you had stayed in that tomb. It will pain me to watch you die. Spare me the false tears. I'm ready to fight you. You are entitled to defend yourself. In fact, I'd expect nothing less. May the Force welcome you with open arms. Kill him. You truly are relentless. I can see now why Zash chose you. But this has carried on long enough. Ah, you've come prepared. By now, I should have expected it of you. Unfortunately for you, I am older and wiser and studied in rituals you can't even imagine. I have business on Malachor 3. Prepare my ship and see that this one gets a respectful cremation. Yes, my lord.
My lord, you're awake. We need to hurry out of here. If Thanaton finds out you're still alive, we're all in trouble. Let Thanaton find me. I'll kill him. I don't think you have the strength for that yet, my lord. Let's get back to the ship with the others. We can figure out what to do from there. My lord, you're back. <laughs> Thought you were gone. Yeah, I could get trampled by a bantha herd and not get knocked around as bad as you. We followed Thanaton's servants, cut them down, and pulled you out of a ditch. You didn't have a pulse at first, but then Carl noticed you were still warm. I don't know how you survived that. I guess I should thank you then. You are our master, my lord. Without you, we are orphans. Your survival is the most remarkable thing I've ever witnessed. I still can't quite figure it out. It seems Thanaton's ritual was too powerful for your shield. But he didn't fully understand the bond between you and the dead. To kill you, he would have had to purge their spirits. You died, and their very presence kept you alive. That's great, but what do we do? We can't wait for Thanaton to come back and kill us. I'll find the most powerful dead in the galaxy, bind them and take their power. Thanaton won't stand a chance. It's a gamble. None of us know what the cost of acquiring so much power so quickly could be. I'm well aware of the cost, but I'll risk it. We don't exactly have other options, do we? So where do we find more ghosts? The Jedi on Terrace were investigating something of that nature. I sent a man to investigate shortly before my unfortunate change. I'd have to do more research on the matter to confirm, but I suggest making contact with him. One won't be enough. When I face Thanaton again, I want to crush him. I wish we had more to go on, but right now that's all I have. Corin and I will dig around too, and we'll keep an eye on Thanaton. If he makes a move, we'll let you know. Good luck, my lord. 